Hello, welcome to Mary Has No Lamb podcast. Today, I'm going to talk about repairing a broken heart. Enjoy. Shopping for our food has always proved to be quite a challenging task. You have to make a list, search for the items, prepare your budget, and, if you are a total nerd, you also check the labels for expiration date, ingredients, chemicals, etc. Why does it matter for most of us what we buy for food? Mostly because we care about what we eat and, therefore, we are careful and only allow the best we can afford to enter our bodies. How does this transpose into our emotional and love life? The list still remains a thing. All of us make a list of the ideal traits we want our future partner to have. We prepare ourselves to be our best and we enter the battlefield. The only thing that can go wrong is getting stuck with a rotten tomato, aka the wrong partner. What do you do then? Being open in front of someone in order to pursue a romantic relationship is quite a journey. If you would follow the cynical say of everybody lies, then you would never really open up and you would withhold the sensitive, dick to your core kind of information. Maybe in a couple of years you would be shocked, surprised, blown away by what your partner consciously decided to hide away from you. It was there all along. Only if you could have opened your eyes sooner. Can you ever be certain that you know everything about your significant other? Or you have to allow the unknown to have a place in your life in order to be happy? I guess the answer depends on how much you can resist in front of the truth. Some people function better if they are being lied to, rather than to be told the truth. Everybody wants sincerity, but very few can handle it and change their behavior accordingly. It is widely said, in a superficial manner, that love lasts three years, and after that, all hell breaks loose. I find it quite funny, especially when you can notice examples of people breaking up sooner even with a baby in the plan, or even later, after 30 years, after being through rough and nasty times. So, an accurate timing of when love ends looks like a bunch of rubbish. You can't transform it into an equation, but you can control some aspects. And who says that love has to end officially? There are 
are so many relationships love free and they last for a lifetime with both partners miserable so not even misery can be evaluated properly and put to an end I believe that love ends when communication stops and from that moment on people can decide to remain there stuck and scared or angry and arrogant and do nothing or they can decide for an intervention hallelujah either way the damage that has been done is significant on both of the parts involved whether they admit it or not our souls are like forests and we see the bearer of love as the forester who will take care of it and guard it with the greatest care too bad that not all foresters have the best intention for our inner forest some enter only to produce painful long-lasting damage cutting into our emotions with no mercy and leaving only scarred roots of the giant trees that once stood as the pillars of our emotional comfort and availability for love these type of people are good only at making a temporary entrance in your life getting what they want and then move on to the next victim with no sense of remorse thinking they will find the never-ending forest into which they could cut forever with no repercussions what a delusion what a cold way of seeing love unfortunately these people never knew real love since they were a child don't know how to love and they don't get it even if they are loved forever damaged forever damaging others just like a rotten tomato or an expired product you should let it go not worth your time they'll die emotionally alone and you forever broken especially that most of them refuse to change and seek for help life's too short in order for that to happen to you people that don't appreciate you and don't commit to make a change in them for you are not worthy of your love but if the damage is already done how can you handle it well love is a renewable resource with the right people allowed into your life you can put yourself back on your feet and plant a new little tree every day through patience kindness support and understanding 
By the time the bad forester has gone away, pursuing another forest to cut into, yours will grow into the most beautiful thing you have ever experienced. With roots stronger than before, ready to receive its deserving guests. The ones that are there to stay and to protect it. Thank you for listening.